Our final film today is Transformers – Revenge of the Fallen. This sequel continues to follow the awesome battle between the Autobots and the Decepticons. Now the only thing I don't like about this film is in one scene, Jetfire here makes a mistake involving angles. Jetfire starts in Washington DC in the US with some miscellaneous human characters and then proceeds to teleport all the way to the square based pyramids in Egypt. Unfortunately, this scene shows it being the middle of the day in both Washington DC and Egypt at the same time. Now to see why this is so annoying, we need some help from this, the Earth. Jetfire starts off here in Washington DC. He then teleports all the way around to Egypt over here. Now we say Washington DC has a longitude of 77.1 degrees. That means if you start in London, which is the zero point for longitude, in fact, you can even go there and get your photo taken on the line. If we start in London and go around 77.1 degrees, you end up in Washington DC. Egypt, on the other hand, is 31.1 degrees in the east direction over here. That means the angular distance between Washington DC and Egypt is 108.5 degrees. So when Washington DC here is facing the sun, and it's sunlight on this side of the Earth, Egypt is all the way around here in the dark. It can't be bright sunlight in both places at the same time. Now, if you don't believe my Earth, we've gone and asked an expert in the field. This is Dr. Lucy Green. She's a physics researcher from University College London. So, Dr. Lucy Green, is it possible to be daylight in both Washington DC and Egypt at the same time? No. So there you have it, a clear mathematical mistake. I mean, super intelligent robots from outer space, that I'm okay with. Incorrect use of angles, that's outrageous. And just before we go, we've got a letter sent in from a viewer. Dear Maths in the Movies, what about the film 17 again starring Zac Efron? He's so dreamy. It even has a prime number in the title. You must like that. Yours sincerely, Generic Schoolgirl. Well, Jen, I watched this film based on your recommendation, and while 17 is indeed a prime number, I saw very little other mathematical excitement. On the contrary, I think you'll find the filmmakers have made some very elementary mathematical mistakes. The film starts in 1989, where the lead character Mike discovers that his girlfriend is pregnant. We then skip to the present day in 2009, where his resulting daughter is shown to still be in high school. Even if she was born as late as 1990, if you subtract that from the current year of 2009, it still puts her at an age of 19 years. And she's at school. 19 is too old for school, I'm afraid. And even worse, in 1989, Mike's coach refers to him as Vanilla Rice. Vanilla Rice being the artist behind such hits as Ice Ice Baby and Play That Funky Music. However, Vanilla Rice's major release of his first album, To The Extreme, didn't occur until 1990. And as we all know, 1,990 is a bigger number than 1,989. Well, I think that's pretty much enough maths for now. If you see any maths in a movie, please send us an email to hey at mathsinthemovies.com. Until next time, keep watching movies and keep doing maths.